In a rainforest in Yunnan, a titan creature named Mothra was held captive. A team of over a hundred scientists was dedicated to studying this massive creature, which was still in its larval stage. Dr. Emma, an important member of the monarch organization, was in charge of the research, she activated protective measures to prevent Mothra from causing unnecessary destruction, however, Mothra seemed to dislike the rays directed at it and started rolling towards the nearby equipment. The sudden agitation caused the guards to panic and open fire, angering Mothra. In just a few seconds, Mothra's silk ensnared several guards, sticking them to the wall. As Mothra showed signs of going berserk, an assistant attempted to activate a device to kill it, but was stopped by Emma. She turned on a device she had been developing for years, collecting Mothra's audio frequencies and then emitting similar sound waves. Initially, there was no effect, but as Mothra attacked Emma, she adjusted and amplified the frequency of the sound waves. Miraculously, the agitated Mothra calmed down, and Emma was delighted to have found an effective way to communicate with the Titan, their celebration was short-lived. As terrorists suddenly invaded the base and killed all the scientists, they were after Emma's ability to control Titans. For her daughter's safety, Emma complied and handed over the device. The terrorists didn't target Mothra, deeming its powers insignificant. With no humans to hold it back, Mothra escaped to a waterfall to wait for its transformation. The terrorists took Emma to a secret base in Antarctica, where another more powerful titan was imprisoned. Their target was this immensely powerful creature, kept in a state of ice. As Emma gathered the creature's sound waves, a global crisis loomed. The awakening sound waves were detected by Monarch, not because of their advanced equipment, but because they had Godzilla, the king of monsters. Since the last battle with the Mudo, Godzilla had been dormant at the bottom of the ocean. Sensing the reawakening danger, he became restless. Professor Serizawa deduced from Godzilla's movements that his target was the base in Antarctica. The Monarch team hurried there on an aircraft carrier to rescue Emma. Meanwhile, the terrorists were making their final preparations, drilling holes in the ice and placing remote-controlled bombs. As they retreated, Monarch's team arrived. A standoff ensued on a bridge, but Emma unexpectedly detonated the bombs. Her capture had been part of her plan, protected by mercenaries. Emma fled to a helicopter and activated the sonic device, adjusting the settings. She emitted an invisible wave that caused the ice to collapse, summoning the frozen titan. This creature, known as King Ghidorah, an alien with three heads, You gotta be fucking kidding. was unfazed by the soldiers' bullets, naturally vicious. Ghidorah began to launch long-range attacks, as King Ghidorah was about to annihilate the humans in front of it. A giant hand emerged from beneath the ice it was Godzilla, arriving just in time. Godzilla grabbed one of King Ghidorah's necks and slammed it into the ground. However, King Ghidorah's multiple heads and mastery of electric attacks made it difficult for Godzilla, who was knocked aside. Godzilla, gathering energy, unleashed a blast of atomic breath, but King Ghidorah dodged it and countered with gravity beams, causing explosions around Godzilla and sending him into a deep pit. At this moment, the human military arrived and attacked King Ghidorah, though unharmed. King Ghidorah decided not to linger due to Godzilla's presence and swiftly flew away. Meanwhile, Emma released another captive titan, Rodden, from a volcano. Rodden, unaffected by the flames, took to the skies. The military, intent on eliminating this threat, provoked Rodden with missile attacks. In retaliation, Rodden caused destruction with its sonic booms, reducing cities to rubble as it flew past. As Rodden engaged the military aircraft, King Ghidorah appeared, and the two titans clashed. Despite Rodden's strength, it was no match for King Ghidorah. As King Ghidorah approached the command ship, Godzilla reappeared, biting into its neck and plunging into the ocean. In the water, King Ghidorah was at a disadvantage and soon lost one of its heads to Godzilla. However, at the moment of Godzilla's apparent victory, the military fired an oxygen-destroying missile, targeting the area where they were fighting. This attack was meant to annihilate all life within a 3-kilometer radius, as some humans believed titans shouldn't exist in the world. Unexpectedly, 
Godzilla sank to the ocean floor, showing no signs of life, while King Ghidorah emerged alive. King Ghidorah, an alien species, didn't need to breathe oxygen and possessed regenerative abilities, allowing its severed head to regrow. King Ghidorah's roars awakened titans worldwide. Causing massive destruction, among them was Mothra, who emerged from its cocoon beneath the waterfall, stunning nearby researchers with its beautiful wings. Sensing Godzilla was in peril, Mothra headed to his location, calling out to him. Wave detection revealed Godzilla's life signs were faint. He could recover from his injuries over several years if he remained undisturbed underwater, but humanity needed Godzilla's strength to combat King Ghidorah's destruction, to revive Godzilla. Professor Serizawa and a team dive to the ocean's depths, finding an ancient ruin, Godzilla's home. Approaching the cavern, they encountered increasing radiation, making a difficult decision. Serizawa set out alone in a submersible with a nuclear bomb to revive Godzilla. Upon reaching Godzilla, who weakly opened his eyes, Serizawa activated the bomb's detonator, sacrificing himself to ensure Godzilla's revival. He removed his protective gear. Knowing he wouldn't have time to escape the explosion, Serizawa approached Godzilla, calling out to him, and then released the nuclear bomb. The radiation from the bomb healed Godzilla's severe injuries, rejuvenating him for the upcoming battle with King Ghidorah. The alien King Ghidorah, with its immense power, had awakened sleeping titans across the globe, causing natural disasters. The mastermind behind this chaos was Dr. Emma who intended to use the Titans to restore Earth's balance, damaged by human activities. However, Emma's daughter couldn't stand by and watch any longer. She took the sound wave device and used it in a stadium to stop the Titans. But King Ghidorah, unaffected by the device, located her and attacked. As King Ghidorah prepared to strike, Godzilla. Fully revived, arrived with a human military escort. Despite the military's attacks only causing minor disturbances to Ghidorah, it gave Godzilla an opportunity to retaliate. Godzilla engaged King Ghidorah, unleashing his more potent atomic breath. Now enhanced by the nuclear radiation, suddenly, Mothra joined the fight, using her silk to restrain Ghidorah. However, as Mothra prepared to attack, Rodden intervened on Ghidorah's behalf. In this struggle for dominance, Rodden distracted Mothra long enough for Ghidorah to recover and unleash a powerful attack, destroying numerous fighter jets and forcing Godzilla to retreat. In a turn of events, Mothra impaled Rodden but was severely injured. Emma then arrived, using the sound wave device to distract Ghidorah, giving Godzilla a chance to recover, enraged, Ghidorah pursued Emma, in a final act, Emma sacrificed herself. Allowing Godzilla to regain strength and confront Ghidorah, now radiating red energy from Mothra's sacrifice, Godzilla unleashed a devastating thermonuclear pulse, incinerating Ghidorah. Only the middle head remained, which Godzilla destroyed with his atomic breath, ending Ghidorah's threat, with Ghidorah defeated. The other titans submitted to Godzilla, recognizing him as the true alpha. Emma's actions, motivated by her belief that Titans were part of Earth's natural defense system and a necessary counterbalance to human destruction, were controversial. She had suffered the loss of her son in a previous Titan conflict and chose to coexist with the Titans, believing she could control them with her device. Emma's decisions, driven by a mix of grief, hope for a balanced world, 
and underestimation of King Ghidorah's alien nature, led to catastrophic events, her ultimate sacrifice to save her daughter and help Godzilla, and her initial intentions, pose a complex question, can Emma be forgiven for her actions that unleashed such chaos, yet were aimed at restoring Earth's ecological balance, 